I'm Paul Russell. I'm the product manager for MAPE UK Limited. And the demonstrations that uh, we've been doing today are with the composites. Our composites being uh, carbon fibre, glass, aramids, and uh, other smart fibres. We, we use them in civil engineering uh, and structural engineering situations. Uh, we looked at today uh, six different methods of uh, strengthening structures. We looked at uh, flexural strengthening, where we're putting a carbon fiber plate on the underside of a beam. And we also did a, a demonstration by putting it onto some timber and then jumping up and down on the timber to show how strong we could make it. Uh, we also did some um, wrapping of columns using uh, carbon fiber wrap in this situation. Uh, we did that for two reasons. The first was uh, for axial strengthening, where we were strengthening from uh, top to bottom on the column, so the column uh, can take its bending moments. And then we also discussed uh, wrapping the fibres around the column, uh, this time to stop the column from bursting. In other words, it confinement uh, strengthening. We looked at uh, another uh, problem within the industry for strengthening, which was shear strengthening. And in this case, we were talking about using carbon fibre wraps uh, in a U section that would, uh, that would be uh, glued to the surface of the substrate, whether that's concrete, um, masonry, steel, whatever. And then we looked at two other methods. Uh, one was what we call NSM, uh, near surface mounted reinforcement, where we're putting carbon fiber bars very close to the surface, uh, whether it's in concrete or within steel. Uh, steel, as we know, corrodes. Carbon doesn't, it's an inert material, it's corrosive free. So we, we demonstrated that situation. And then finally, uh, we looked at um, anchoring carbon fiber. Uh, in this case, we used a, a very simple method uh, using carbon fiber rope that was dry, that would be fixed inside the substrate and then spread out over onto the, uh, the strengthening sy uh, sy systems that we'd uh, already discussed. So that was the day.